Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Beauty Nation Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, so real quickly, I exposed myself to an energy today, not intentionally. Um, and so I wanted to kind of look into it because I feel like there's something that's very important about this energy. Um, I think there may be like a cult that is orchestrating the demise of an entire family or something of that nature. Um, but I came across a man today. He said you're walking in one of those upper class, upper class uh, neighborhoods and you see a car that is just out of place. Um, typically when you go into an upper class neighborhood, the lawn is perfectly uh, done. You know, no flowers out of sight. There's no trash anywhere, nothing like that. Um, but what I noticed was like a man sitting in like a dirty car. The car is dirty on the outside. The car is dirty on the inside. It just didn't look like he belonged there. Um, and he had like, it was just a, a weird energy. Like he just didn't belong there. But I remember when I was walking past him, I heard the words serial killer or something like that. Um, and then I got home and I started getting like some information. Like, like you know, I started hearing like cold organized crime. So I'm like, so I think there is something where it's like a, a group behind the scenes is orchestrating the demise of an entire family. I heard something about dismemberment. I also remember when I was walking, we saw like a, a, a bunny and a very young bunny. Someone had gutted the bunny, took the insides out and then just left it laying on the side of a pole, but the insides were nowhere to be found. Um, and it was, I don't think it was a wild animal that did this because the, the, if it was a wild animal, they would typically bite within the belly of the animal, like the softest part of the animal to get those things are out. But what I saw was like a line going straight down. So it was like, it was something that was very intentional, very specific. Uh, so this could be someone that's very sick minded, uh, very disturbed, and they get a thrill out of doing things like this. So what they did was just flick down the bunny and took out the guts and stuff, left it laying there. Um, a few days later, we go back on that same path, and someone had taken the bunny from the from the side of the from the side of the uh, sidewalk from the from next to the pole and put it in the middle of the sidewalk so that they could make sure that people saw it. So there is somebody that has, I guess, like a thrill out of torturing people. So there's a serial killer out here on the loose or something. And he, because who I saw was a Caucasian man, he has been hired by a cult behind the scenes to take out an entire family. And this is something that is organized. Um, and I think this has to do with the fact that there's a lot of truths coming out with this Ace of Swords out here. There's a lot of truths coming out about something that was meant to be secret. There is like a specific way a cult moves behind the scenes. And there is something about what they've done to somebody that was never supposed to be exposed. No one was ever supposed to find out. This was supposed to be something that was like an inside job, okay? Uh, this is like people attacking your finances, people invading your privacy, trying to get you caught up in legal uh, cases, court cases, so they can have you either locked up or have something taken from you. It's like, yes, people going all out to cause havoc in your life. But it's like, through all of that, you've made it through, which is something is that is probably supernatural to some of the people that are within this cult um, that you probably didn't do anything to. It's just, I think there's a feminine energy that is kind of like the leader of this cult um, that is bothered by you, someone that's not like you for who you are. And it has a lot to do with your looks, your complexion, uh, things that you don't have any control over. And someone could be very pissed off with the fact that you may be someone that's very beautiful is what I kept hearing as well, that someone is bothered by who you are. So there's a woman behind the scenes that's orchestrating the entire demise of a, of a family. This is like a soulless person walking around so they don't even care what it is that they do and how their actions affect other people all she knows is she makes an order and you follow through 
there's something where, however, she may be having some type of difficulty getting this done um, because I don't, I, I, I keep seeing people that she gives this offer to and they'll take the offer, but then something either happens, either they end up in an accident or something happens to either them or their family and they change their mind or they can't do the job or some people will just change their mind. There's also something where it's like, they are trying to catch you alone so and i feel like they're coming after a feminine energy you could be masculine as well but they are trying to catch you alone they're trying to catch you off guard so it's like you walking alone somewhere and this serial killer pops up out of nowhere and you know grabs you throws you in a car and disappears with you and do you something like there's something very malicious that has been plotted by a woman behind the scenes um and whoever this serial killer is this is someone when you meet them they don't apparent they don't specifically look rugged in things. This is just someone you'll see and you'll be like, oh, he has tattoos and stuff, but you just think it's normal. He's a normal, regular guy. You're not going to assume that he's into things like that. But if someone gets a thrill. Like when I walk past this man today, like the the heaviness of the energy that I got from this masculine was so like like just dark. Uh, but I think because it's so natural to him, he doesn't see a problem with it. Um, and I don't know why I got such a specific uh, download on him. But it was just like, there's something so, it was just so dark. Like I just, I heard the word, I feel like it was serial killer or just killer. But just uh, be careful out here with your kids and things like that. If you are a feminine and you know things just aren't adding up when it comes to your environment and how life has been going, just make sure you stay safe. If you if you want to go somewhere, if it's not somewhere that's imperative for you to be there, try to stay home. I don't want you living in fear because sometimes people like these, they do these kind of things. They have you living in fear where you're not going anywhere. You think the whole world is after you. But what I received today this information i got today is just too dark and i don't want to like keep that to myself and then there's somebody out here that needs that information just stay very alert and vigilant um because there is there's some type of he like insidious plan against an entire family something started off with a woman just wanting to cause a disturbance in your life uh, them not wanting you to be seen, them not wanting people to know that you are brilliant with this is a sword. They don't want people to know that you're intellectual, that you're smart, smart, that you are sharp and things like that, right? They don't want people to know that you are innovative. Like something a woman has been doing behind the scenes might have been stealing ideas from you. So it's kind of embarrassing for someone to tell people that you're dumb, but then the whole time she's been taking information from you and then that comes out in a community is embarrassing. So they've been doing something behind the scenes to block you from being seen. Be careful as well, because I remember I did a reading where this, this is a queen of pentacles and a queen of swords I've been picking up on. Uh, one of my readings, I said that they were sending somebody to you, uh, a knight of cups to you, to extend some type of friendship to you. And I remember I said that you're going to see through this person and it's going to be a situation where he may not even end up coming towards you because they know you're going to see through him or they're going to find out that you're going to see through him. So she may get to a point where she wants to come towards you. So I think this woman is now trying to figure out how to come towards you. This is a snake in the grass. This is not your friend. This is someone that's going to come around you and act like they care about you and they didn't know what was going on the whole time. There's a... Um, a financial motivation behind why she's coming towards you. There's nobody she can send towards you from this organization that you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in a long time. How are you doing? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's literally like everybody from this organization you probably don't want nothing to do with uh, because they're all the same or they partook in something really horrendous okay um that has to do with destroying your life your children's life if you have kids and i feel like you do have kids because i heard something about family demise decapitation and, and all of that so there's something where they've done and they don't care how it has affected you or your children whether you have kids that have health issues and things like that, whether you have health issues, whether you are, you have grandparents or parents that have health issues, they don't care about any of that. It's all financially motivated. These people knew what it is they were getting into and they made the decision to destroy your life, okay? 
this woman that's wanting to come to worship is possibly a queen of pentacles and this is a snake in the grass this is not someone that's friends with you okay everything this woman does is meticulously planned okay uh i said meticulously meticulously planned loosely because this is not someone that's the brightest crayon in the box from whatever i picked on now i didn't see this woman feel this woman's face in detail but what i saw was someone that may be like on the petite side of things and is very much entitled to having life go her way she hasn't had to work for anything she's always been it being handed things you know like the privilege uh the privilege that we talk about in society that people tend to live in denial of this is one of those situations where this woman is very entitled because the world has enabled her and allowed her to be entitled even the organization that she works for has allowed her to be uh entitled and things like that someone moves like a thug this is a woman that moves like a thug she thinks that she's the head of a gang basically is how she sees these people and she has brainwashed them to the point where they think that they're fighting for a cause or something there could be something where it's like even maybe a property was left to you and they all got together and stole something from you or there is something there's either like some type of position or something that is meant for you or there is an inheritance that's meant for you and they don't want you to receive it. What I'm picking up on also is that this woman is interfering with your business some way, somehow behind the scenes. Like there's a hacker that's either being paid to block you, block you from being able to sell products, block you from being able to sell books, block you from being able to... Uh, from people seeing your content on social media and things like that. But what she's doing now is walking around and acting like she's all in support of you. And she's happy that she's seeing things from a higher perspective. It's all a lie. Someone is still paying people to block your work. Okay. And she wants to come in and give you kind of basically like an ultimatum. It's like, um, but she's going to do it in a friendly way where it's that you can either uh, choose this or, you know, or you can keep struggling to be seen on social media, something like that, right? But the whole time, it's not that your, your, your content is not legit, that people aren't interested in it. It's because they're doing something to block you from being seen. You see what I see, what I'm saying? So it's like they're, they're doing something to interfere with your finances, you being seen, and then they're coming in with some type of frivolous offer that's meant to trap you with these people, but you're not meant to be around them like that, okay? There's something where you may even have the advantage over these people. It's like you step into a company and maybe you're in charge of the finances of that company. So the people that's been bu that have been bullying you the whole time don't have any authority to tell you what to do. So it's like you walking in and you're in charge of the people that's been that have been bullying you. If I was you, if you decide to go back into this company, maybe middle finger up to everybody. This ain't nothing where you're supposed to be in there smiling with these people. It's strictly business. You and friends with none of these people because whoever i'm seeing and what i've been seeing as far as what they've been doing and planning or plotting against you and your family is horrendous so it ain't no kissy kissy or uh friendship it, nobody there is your friend there could be like a queen of uh source in this community that may even be feeling a bit of regret for some type of decision that she made that interfere with your life and your children's life and maybe she's living in a bit of regret over that but it's not enough regret for her to come towards you and say and tell you the truth about anything it's like they don't care what it is that they did okay they're, they're just they just care about the fact that the truth is out if they would have never gotten caught or no truth was exposed Nobody will care at all what happened to you, whether you were alive, whether you were sick, whatever, whether somebody was sent to dishonor you, take you out, what, they don't care. They wouldn't care. They wouldn't care what happened to you, whether you were homeless, broke, busted, busted disgusted, or whatever. They wouldn't care. These are not, they don't care. This woman is not programmed to care, and she has led these people in that same direction. Uh, there could be, you know, other people within this community that maybe aren't aware of what has been going on, um, but they're going to come into awareness of it, and it's going to be very heartbroken because heartbreaking because not everybody in this community is like this. Um, it's just it's like the uh, it's like the up <laughs> it's like the insiders of the 
organization they're the ones that are like this and then they have a thing where it's say if you've been in the company for a long time uh they know how to draw you in and use you to do the things that they need you to do you are, where you feel like you're part of something but you're not really part of something that's principle or ethical but this was a group that got together worked really hard together to just destroy your life it's like a they say it's like a family is how they consider themselves and i didn't know this is how family operates okay uh you could have some type of fresh opportunity coming towards you but before you get that opportunity there's going to be some type of truth or some type of confession that somebody is going to give to you maybe somebody's going to confess their love for you or their emotions for you whatever it is or it could just be that they want to work with you. The two of pen, the two of cups can have to do with business and pleasure. So it could be that somebody wants to tell you how they feel about you. Uh, someone could be going through an ending behind the scenes as well. They may be feeling trapped and things like that within. I don't know if it's this organization or a family. I don't know if somebody gave their power away. Um, there goes their queen of pentacles. Okay. Still causing blockages for you and things like that. Um, and the other way is you going through stagnations and stillness because of this Queen of Pentacles as part of this community as well. The truth is coming out. They've all been working together. There could be a couple in here that's been working together with this Queen of uh, Pentacles to cause you stagnations and things like that. You could also have a, another couple in here that is choosing to be practical about a situation when it comes to causing you still missing things like that. Maybe they want to put a stop to something. Um, but, you know, it's this stuff like this is just really distressing because it's that why would you go to this extent to interfere with other people's lives? Something that's it's like somebody wants what belongs to you, but they haven't worked for what belongs to you. And this is not somebody that cares about gaining things on merit. And that, that, that statement keeps coming up in all of my reads. Someone does not care about working. It does not, she doesn't care to work. If she could wake up every day and money disappear in her account and she goes back to sleep, that's all she will do every day. She don't care about putting in work, putting in effort, nothing. Don't care about anybody around her. It is all about her very superficial very vain uh emotionless uh there could be something where she could even be having like a work affair a as well with somebody at work this could be also a woman uh because i think i've seen this woman in my dream before and she was having some type of uh in uh uh rendezvous with another feminine so this could be someone that goes both ways okay and this is the person that's been coming in after you ordering all these attacks and things like that on you so this is somebody that goes both ways it may even be something where this woman is obsessed with you but the feelings are not reciprocated uh so it's a problem as well it's that she wants you to think that you and her are friends is that one of those people if you're nice to them they think that you're interested in it. And this is something I've always struggled with in my life as well. When I'm, I've always had something where it's that when I'm really nice to people, they'll, they'll mistaken it for me being like interested in them as far as dating. But it's just that, it's just like, that's, that's just my personality. Um, I just like, I'm naturally kind to people. It does not mean that I like you emotionally, romantically or anything like that. It's just, that's how I am. And now if I'm nice to you and you, choose to be a funny thing you know you'll see another side of me that you didn't know was there but naturally when you meet me i'm very kind i come off as a queen of cups because you know i like to see people happy take care of my environment and things like that people places and things and just kind of look out for people but if you um misuse that or mistaking that for something else i can be a queen of source on you real quick uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like, I'll do it so quickly. Like, you'll be wondering, did she ever care about me? Did she ever like me? Like, was it ever genuine? Oh, it was genuine, but I just don't got time to be playing around with you. But there's something where this woman is obsessed with you. Someone has been fighting with you, but it's been a one-sided battle. Is that someone started a war with you, but it's like, uh, what is this about again? It's about her trying to take from you what does not belong to her. It's about them trying to hide your innovation. It's about them trying to hide you. There's something malicious these people did behind the scenes and they just don't want it exposed. They don't want people to know that they've been attacking you from behind the scenes and interfering with your resources and things like that. They also, there's some type of truth that's going to come towards you and it's like they don't want you to retaliate. But it's that with 
if you sit back, because I'm going to need you to use your common sense. If you sit back and reflect on all the things that you all have done to whoever this is, why wouldn't they retaliate? Why wouldn't they give you a piece of their mind? Why wouldn't they? But you, what I'm picking up on is you all have been taken from a whole family. And this is what a lot of the times people don't take into consideration. Is that you're not just taken from that woman that you don't like or you're obsessed with. A lot of the times they're coming with family behind them. Taking care of their mothers, their fathers, brothers and sisters. Taking care of their children, their husband or their domestic partners and things like that. And you don't care about any of that. All you care about is yourself right you getting what it is you want and you're just a soulless vacant walking around you don't care how your actions affect you because there's something where you should have let go of a long time ago now you want to come into somebody's energy and say oh i don't want to fight with you anymore what was the fight about because nobody picked a fight with you this woman is probably not even aware of you um but you've been causing havoc in their life and then you're walking around still causing blockages in somebody's life blocking their work but you want to come in and act like a friend you are not a this is a snake in the grass and i don't know who you are but when i tell you this is a snake in the grass you know how they used to call those uh snake skin oil uh businessman slimy this is the female version of that like just very slimy a, a, a two-fisted snake okay will do whatever she needs to do to get what she wants she will hop on any team Today she don't like you. If she got to like you tomorrow for you two to work together, guess what? You two are best friends tomorrow. Okay? So be very cautious of this woman that's coming towards you. It's very much plotted. It's planned. She's very desperate out here. Um, it may be that maybe people around her are seeing things from a higher perspective and they're trying to take a different route and put her into something. So now she's pretending like she's in support of you. She's not in support of you, okay? This is a woman that's living in fear. Very toxic, angry, bitter, envious of some type of judgment going in your favor. Bothered by your strength. The fact that you tend to just walk away instead of picking fights with people and fighting back. It's like somebody wants you to fight back with them, but it's like it's a waste of your time to be fighting back with this person because somebody doesn't have any common sense to put two and two together like all of this was unnecessary. Leave people alone. Like... You stole from somebody. If you were able to get away with it, why didn't you just leave it alone? But somebody's ego got the best of them and she had to keep going. It's like you steal from somebody and you're afraid of people finding out. So you start taking drastic actions to hide the, the fact that you're a thief. So now you're out here wreaking havoc in people's lives for no reason. No reason at all. Don't care if, like I said, don't care if you all have children. Don't care if you have sick parents. This woman don't care. This is a soul that's vacant walking around. It's all about her. All about her. It's, it's really crazy. I'm telling you, this is someone that's very manipulative. Causes a lot of illusions and things like that. May still even be, be causing illusions about two people possibly coming together. It's like if she knows a man wants to come meet with you. Uh, to have a one-on-one -on -one with you or heart-to-heart -heart with you, she's causing some type of illusion or she's sending somebody towards him to confuse him, to play mental games. With, I'm telling you, Moon, to cause confusion, mental games and things like that, keep him wondering, keep him confused and things like that, if he should come towards you and it's like if he should send a communication to you, he's all worried about the decisions that he made, what he invested in, should he invest into your work, are you going to cause him problems and things like that, but deep down that man already know you're the truth, it's this woman and her uh, gang members, because that's basically how she sees them, her cult members, gang members, uh, that are causing the problems. They're the ones having him second guess his decisions. And I don't know why they have this much power over him. Um, but there's something about you receiving a contract um, from either an organization or someone that's very business savvy or very successful in life. And they don't want this contract to come towards you. There could be something about a position. Like I said, you have been chosen for something. And this woman is very angry that something is not going to her. But... She has done so much behind the scenes to cause a lot of distortion and conflicts and chaos. She thinks that she's going to receive something. So a sister is out here prepping herself to receive your blessings. This is how delusional this woman is. Like someone is mentally sick and people don't know that. 
that gets mentally off the ruling. And they don't know that. And they keep, like, I don't know what it is. They, I don't know if they're binded to something because there's something where this woman does where she binds people. She takes their power away. It's like, she, she has a way of, like, manipulating you. By the time you realize you are being manipulated, baby, it's too late. Your power been gone, to, been taken away. But there's something about you. She can't take your power away. She's not able to come in and manipulate you. Maybe even be trying to send somebody to come in and manipulate you. But that person already knows. You're going to see right through them. Sharp as a freaking two-edged sword. Or this is a source out here can't manipulate you you may just play along with whatever the heck it is they're telling you and say oh, okay well have a good day and leave it at that but she's been able to manipulate everybody around her okay and she's so used to it she she even takes from the people around her their work this is someone where it's like you sit down and you type up a whole document and then she goes and sign her since she signs her name at the bottom talking about sincerely uh, Jean Doe. It's a Jean Doe don't know it. nothing that's on that paper, but she is sincerely Jean Doe. It was written by her. Have her write, tell her to sit down and actually write uh, 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 a paper. <laughs> Baby, good luck. The language, the grammar, she's going to be struggling with myself here with my English. <laughs> Ooh, that someone is accustomed to being a thief she does not care about being fair like this is someone i don't know what the word is to use her this is like an insecure little girl playing grown up if she doesn't get her way throws a temper tantrum like how 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 old are you obviously life you're not always going to get what you want but this is someone that has to be told no she's allergic to no if you tell her no it's a problem and someone is holding on to her youth like Trying to hold this is someone that you may even do Botox, like the face and the hand don't match. You know, when those people go and get Botox and their face looks uh younger than their hands, it's all wrinkly and things like that. I see somebody like that, like it, it just doesn't match. It just it looks disturbing. It's like somebody's face gets stiffer and stiffer by the month or by the there's something where somebody gets Botox. I don't know why that's coming up, but. It's that somebody's desperate to hold on to what they used to look like. This could have been a woman that was very beautiful when she was younger. But baby, as we all get older, beauty fades. Come on. Beauty is just skin deep. What else is in there? Nothing. Exactly. That's why she does not have a problem from when it comes to stealing from people. Like, your beauty ain't going to give you everything in life. There was a time in life where you could use that and get whatever you wanted. And I'm pretty sure that's how you got a lot of the things you wanted. But that's over. You're going to have to move on. Okay? Um, I've never understood women like that. They use their beauty for everything. It's like a woman's identity should never be surrounded uh, around her beauty. I, I don't know how to put that. Like your identity should not be about your beauty ever. Like it's it's... It's cool. It's a cherry on the top, okay, of the Sunday of the milkshake. It's it's a cherry on top. But if you're going to surround your life uh, uh, by your beauty and things, center life on your beauty and things like that, or center life around your beauty, I don't even know how to verbalize that. It's pathetic as heck. It's that you don't got nothing else that you come with to the table. It's all about how you look. What people think about how you look, what kind of clothes you have on. That's all it is to you. Nothing can hold a conversation with you. All you have, all you know how to do is pretend to be what you're not and never will be. And you know people know that you're not what you're putting yourself out to be. And you don't feel embarrassed about that. And then you're out here talking about, I don't want to fight with you anymore. You're fighting with an empress. The empresses don't fight with people. They act like you're not there. While you're watching them, gossiping, trying to stop them from working, baby, guess what they're doing? Guess what this empress is doing? Minding her damn mother effing business and going for the things she wants in life in order to be what very, you know, in order to stay innovative and successful in life. This woman ain't paying you no mind. That's the, that's the problem. There could be, I don't know if there was something where it's, there's something about this woman has a son. And I don't think the son is like this. I could be wrong, but I don't think her son is like her. It may even be something where he's embarrassed by the actions of his mother. 
Like they, he knows how his his mother is, and it's and it embarrasses him. Like she's the one with this mindset. He's not like that. So if you if he's in a community with you all, he, I'm pretty sure you all will know that he's not like that. Uh, but he knows how his mother is. She's overbearing it. I don't know what kind of organization this is. This would be like a church, a school, hospital, whatever this is. But this woman, I picked up that she has a son. The son is not like her. It, it could be a daughter for some of you. But whoever her child is, the child is not like her. And the child is oftentimes in a lot of distress because they're so embarrassed about the actions of their mother. It's like, you know how like, Sometimes a group of moms get together and the kids are like, that's my mom, that's my mom, that's my mom. And I, this is not a younger guy, this is a mature guy, but this will be one of the ones that doesn't even want to introduce his mom because his mom just does too much. It's like this is the one of, one of those people that wants to let everybody know that she has money and she works this position at this company and she is in charge of it. Like, he's embarrassed and she's a colorist as well, a, a, a bigot. Baby, this, 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 this poor son of her has been, been suffering his whole life. Because he don't have the same belief system as this woman. It's, he is, like, just give that baby some love. Give, yeah, give that baby some love. Because, oh, he has had to be strong his whole life. All his life, he's had to fight to have a voice. Because his mom wants to be the man in his life. The father, the mother, the wife, everything in his life. He can't date nobody that she does not approve of. God forbid, if you are a sister, sister, and her son liked you, oh, Lord have mercy, how dare he? How dare he? How dare you even exist for her son who comes from the great Aryan race to like you, you that is beneath her. That's that kind of person. So be very cautious. This woman is a piece of work very toxic, karmic, will do anything for money or anything for clout. Like this sister Cardi B said, she will do anything for clout. Okay? Anything for clout. Woman has been trying so hard to stop you, block you. Like she has your work stop or blocked in some way or somehow. Okay? It's like, or, it's like hiring sophisticated engineers to block you on um, let's say social media and they say you're trying to fix your page, but there's nothing you can do because they've done something on the internal, like the, you know how like people build websites. So let's say YouTube, right? They have a website that's built, right? YouTube is a platform. They've broken into this platform and they have changed the coding when it comes to your specific page, right? Where it's like you post and it doesn't go above a specific number. It's something like that they're doing. So it's going to stay like that until she comes to you and says what? Oh, you can do this or you can do that. Okay, you can either take this position and let that go or we're going to keep effing with your work. It's something, if someone is very malicious, very, very malicious. And you see her out here, it's like no matter how long she's been blocking you and stopping you, you're still going for what it is that you want. And it has her in distress. Oh, my, she is angry. It's like, how? Why is she still going? Why is she still posting? Why is she still selling products? Why is she still talking about her products and things like that? Why are you so bothered about another energy? Why are you so insecure? It's what people need to be asking you. But nobody's going to ask you that because what? They know what you are they know what you are she's taking actions to come towards you to lie to you that's what that devil is devil uh energy is sis says she's going for it i'm going for it i'm gonna go say she's this is a business like you know those people that have a business speech ready for you oh it's all that that's all it is this ain't nobody friend this company that she said she ain't nobody friend that is not nobody's friend at that company at all Maybe if he's trying to go to a thinker source to uh, cloud his judgment so that he doesn't give you an offer, doesn't come in and want to work with you. But you're going to receive a contract. The truth is out. There's some type of investigation as well that's been taken out. 
that's been taking place when it comes to a family or a community and i don't know if they didn't know that someone looked deep like they dug deep like deep diving is what this man did or whoever this is did they went deep into something and he may have found things out that was disturbing but now he knows like really you ain't do nothing to these people they probably spun some type of lie about you and they did it in such a crafty and genius way that even he believed it so now that he has found out the truth about this community this group what they've been up to he don't want to be a part of nothing i don't know if they're trying to manipulate him to give his power away this ain't somebody that's going to do that this man has already made his decision on what he's going to do baby this is a king of swords you don't play with the king of swords when they're in the upright that ain't somebody to play with he knows the truth about you okay they don't tell this man either you are part of a cult you're the head of a cult something like that you sell yourself something like that you do this and do that and do that and he don't look into everything you ain't none of that what that man probably found out is that you could be a little bit on the feisty side of things people have been trying to destroy you okay and you are standing your ground because i see you out here as this knight of wands still going for the things that you want in life regardless of, of all this still mixing things like that this is a lot of dark energy for you for one person to be putting up with but regardless of that you, you're still taking action to stand your ground and go for the things that matter to you you could even have uh, uh a knight of wands that's interested in coming towards you and somebody's angry about you receiving uh um uh, a contract this is more than likely somebody from your past that's not even worth your time they're very angry with you uh they've done everything to destroy your life but nothing is going according to plan they're angry or jealous of you receiving this contract this good news and things like that your work being elevated and things like that so there's somebody from your past that's working with these people or has been doing their own thing as well behind the scenes to destroy you so it's like you got a, a, a quite a few group of people or a few sectors of people coming after you for no reason and it's all based on a lie all based on a lie and don't want you receiving some type of solid offer from somebody that they know is going to lead to like an abundance for you because you're somebody that's actually business savvy this is somebody that got to pretend to be business savvy okay it's someone has been playing a role her whole life and the role is i if i act like I know what I'm talking about, they will believe that I know what I'm talking about and they will trust me, they will believe me. Don't don't know what she's talking about, folks. Don't know what she's talking about. This is someone that takes what belongs to other people and she does it in secret. So this is like someone that comes with a new idea and you're like, oh my God, that's a brilliant idea. I would never think of that, neither will she. <laughs> But she's not going to tell you that she's been watching somebody, stalking someone, trying to take somebody out, all of that. Trying to block people from connecting and just living in fear. You, when you live right, you don't got to live in fear. When you, when you live right, you don't, you're not out here stealing from people, taking from people. You don't got to live in this energy here. You never have to. You go to bed, it don't matter how much money you got in your pocket, don't got in your pocket. It don't matter... Uh, uh, what's what's going on the sky is falling whatever you know you didn't do nothing you sleep good at night because you know the sky is falling listen the universe decided that the sky was supposed to fall you didn't do nothing to f with the sky so it's not your fault the sky is falling you go ahead get yourself some good night's sleep when it gets close enough and the universe notices it they'll take care of it baby. i know that's a very extreme example but i'm just saying hypothetically if you know you live right you don't got to live in fear. You don't got to live your life looking over your shoulders, trying to figure out who's coming for you and things like that. Because you know you did right. And God forbid, if somebody still wants to come after you, you, you best believe the universe is going to handle it. Yeah, they'll always handle it. I'm telling you. They always support you. So you, you never got to worry. But people like this... It's a constant thing of wondering every day. Does, it, does somebody know what I did? Who knows what I did? Does somebody know and they're just not saying anything and I'm out here making a fool out of myself? Am I making a fool out of myself? She asks herself a, that a lot. I don't want to make a fool out of myself, but you know, she because she knows she's a goddamn fool. 
But see, I said she was no, she said that I didn't full split my dick. It was under. <laughs> now, I want to make some type of correction, though. The full in the terror deck is not someone that's foolish, okay? I was just using it to be sarcastic. The fool is not a foolish person. The fool is just somebody that's open-minded, which is how the universe wants all of us to be, is be open-minded to, to new uh, adventures, new experiences and things like that, new ways of thinking that be that has to do with this woman. She's not open-minded. There's a small-minded person. But the, the fool typically in the deck is what that is, that re, what that represents. Someone that has a direct connection to source, they are very open to having new adventures, embarking on new journeys and things like that. Even though they may not know what the road is that lies ahead of them, they are trusting the universe to guide them on their journey and to help them uh, complete that journey successfully, no matter how difficult it may be for them, okay? That's what the fool represents. Uh, and it has to also do with making like calculated moves and things like that, which sister thinks she's doing by coming towards you. You say, I'm going to go in, I'm going to talk to her and I want to try to balance things out with her. I need to let the community know that I am in support of her work. Even though I still have people blocking her work behind the scenes. That's what that is right there. Uh -uh, baby, please. I'm telling you, this woman is doing something in secret. Uh, and it's causing illusions. She's sending some type of communications to somebody and it's all to cause illusions to them. This is all she does because this lady is in fear of you receiving something. A sister, like I said, has been prepping herself for your blessings, your abundance, something that belongs to you. This could even be a situation where you're supposed to step into a company and have this very high ranking position and things like that. And she wants to be there to tell you, well, honey, uh, you know, we were wondering if maybe we could all just work together. You know, we've already been here for like 50 years or something. So we know how the company runs. We know all the ins and outs of the company. You can just, you know, tell us what you want to do from behind the scenes. You can do things from behind the scenes and we'll be the face of the, you know, operations. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. One kingdom must fall for another to arise. Okay? One kingdom must fall. For another to arise. It ain't nothing about you and this woman working together. Nothing. Because she, uh, there she goes. Told you. Didn't I tell you? No good intentions. Ulterior motives for why she's coming towards you. Something being plotted. But you see your ancestors. Uh, they're protecting you. Somebody. I don't know who this uh, Sagittarius is. Be very cautious of this person coming towards you. Because uh, this is someone you may have had a contract with in the past that has fallen from grace and he's about to go through some type of contract, that, uh, some type of uh, karma as well. Um, he's binded to something. Someone may have trapped himself, himself with these people, uh, can get out of this organization. Some type of contract was given to him and it binded him to these people with this devil out here. Okay, this is a contract that is it, it, very hard for him to get out of. I don't know how to say that, but this is something that he, I don't know what he was thinking, how they got him to sign that contract, but he's very much stuck, stuck and plotting your demise. Okay. Plotting your demise. And I'm telling you, plotting your demise. This is somebody that went the wrong way, collaborated with the wrong person, maybe losing a lot of money. The truth is out about him. What he's been doing behind the scenes. Well, yeah, exactly. Plotting your demise to keep you stuck, keep you trapped. Someone is obsessed with you as well. So you may want to be careful with that. This is not a lover anymore. This is somebody that was supposed to be a higher level soulmate, but someone has fallen from grace because they're, they binded themselves. They trapped themselves to these people. To this COVID, this corp organization. For some of you, this could be a masculine that's trapped in a family, in some type of relationship he wants to get out of. Maybe that ain't none of your business, okay? But as far as the organization, there is somebody that's stuck in an organization. Uh, this could also be something where a relationship, this man feels stuck in this relationship, can't get out. Since he can't get out of the relationship, then he's taking actions to block you, stop you from moving forward. Because they said, you and I have a contract. And uh, how you get to be happy and I'm stuck in this uh unhappy relationship with this woman what about got to do with the star seed you were already married to this queen of pentacles before you met the star seed so why are you pissed off because you're stuck in a a, a a loveless relationship 
Uh, so you're taking it out on somebody else. You need to self-actualize. There's some healing that needs to be done on your part. Okay? And I feel like you're only showing up in the temperance energy because you had a contract with this woman before, the star seed before. Um, and you were someone that was supposed to be a higher level soulmate. But here you go, falling from grace and plotting the demise of your higher level soulmate. Okay? I, I don't get it. And there's an emperor coming in star C to give you an actual contract. This is somebody that sees you as the queen of cups. These are all people taking actions, not the emperor that's coming in. People taking actions to stop you, block you, trap you, keep you from being able to thrive. And they're angry that you're still in this queen of cups energy. And you're still going to be receiving some type of offer that's going to lead to fulfillment for you. Oh, they're angry. They said, we've done everything to block you from having wish fulfillment. So this, some type of offer that's coming towards you is going to help you move on. Help you heal. You just need to stay determined. Keep working hard. Don't give up. Okay? Endurance. Don't give up. Okay? You got people trying to make it to you before. I'm telling you, this is your decision. Oh, baby, this is your decision. Whatever decision an emperor has made behind the scenes, it got people pissed off. It has people angry. It has people bitter, just losing it behind the scenes. People may be spazzing out and things like that. Uh, because a king of wands is taking actions to close some type of chapter. And is deciding, I guess, to give you something. I don't know when this is going to be. Uh, but wherever this is, it's like they took something from you. But you're getting something even better. Or even if it's something later, you're going to turn it into something even more bigger than what it is these people destroy or these people stole from you. And somebody is angry behind the scenes because they're like, why do things always work out for this Queen of Cups? Uh, it's not fair. It doesn't got to do with what you feel about it. Remember, you did something unfair and you're still refusing to take accountability for that because you've never had to take accountability for anything in your life. Uh, you've been allowed to act without accountability your whole life because of your privilege the word privilege okay this is why group thinking can be very dangerous absolutely dangerous there's no reason why just because you've been in an organization for 40 years you got to think like everybody else you've been in an organization for 10 years you got to think like everybody else there's something about being family, you know, coming together, working together, and have, having a very abundant community. But if it's based on something that's this toxic, baby, you you better run for the hills. Setting yourself up for failure. Because situations like this, systems like these, they always come crashing down. It don't matter how long you're in power. It'll always come down crashing. And the fall from grace is oftentimes so horrendous, so humiliating. That you don't even care about the good times you had. You could be doing this for like 30 years. But when the universe decides to have you fall from grace. Those 30 years will seem so irrelevant to you. Because the fall from grace is so humiliating. And especially with the energy you're coming after. A queen of cups. Oh, the most high is taking that personal. You may even have somebody around you that's taking it personal that you came after this person and it was them based on a whole lot someone may be pissed off with you that you manipulated them into attacking somebody that was innocent yeah i said innocent son came out you came after somebody that was innocent you told people they did something to you or they took something from you or you told them what that this person is dumb they're not innovative something is not original but then they look into somebody's work and they find out what is original. But you still don't want to let like, go. Oh. So what is the re what what is your purpose for doing this? Because there's something where people have looked into it and they know somebody's work is original. But you told them it wasn't original, right? Or whoever is working with you. The Sagittarius has been working with you to destroy somebody. So if you two have found out and everybody else has found out that this Queen of Cups work is original, is authentic, they really are gifted. Why are you coming after them? It sounds like obsession. It sounds like a lot like stalking. Can we can we label it as that? It's stalking and it's obsession. You're obsessed with another person. There's some this man here crying over his loss of you. Because he's now realizing that he's been destroying 
his twin flame or his higher level soulmate, somebody that was supposed to, supposed to help him heal. And he's only showing up in this temperance energy because of what? His sign, I feel like. His 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 uh thinking of balancing something out is to sabotage you, take you out, destroy you. The Queen of Cups that didn't do nothing to anybody. <laughs> out here mad, sad because what? The he can't have a connection with you. Like someone, how you? Is that somebody wants to come in your life, want you down, down, uh, dying you, you know, and then just disappoint you? So it's that like somebody wants to come in and have a one night stand with you with this uh knight of wands to the devil. Somebody wants to come into your life and have a one night stand with you, but before the one night stand happens, he's gonna spit a good game on you. But unfortunately for him, you already know what his intentions are, so he can't come towards you to give you that that, that game. It's crazy. Excuse me while I adjust my hair. In the summertime, the hair stuff just be too much. Just be hot. Just it's too much. It's hot. You just want to shave that stuff up, but then you're like, mm, I ain't one of those girls that look cute with no 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 no. We're gonna keep this hair on. We're gonna keep this hair. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like he wants to come in. Do you one time disappear because he's binded. He's still stuck in a toxic relationship He's stuck in this organization with these people. His wife is a nutcase and things like that probably causing him legal issues and things Maybe that's your business to worry about. It's too late for the both of you to even be together And maybe he's walking away now, but you got somebody else that's worth your time for me And it doesn't gotta be a Sagittarius, but that's the energy I picked up on typically the temperance card is either uh Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Uh but typically a Sagittarius. So yeah, it's a tower. Some type of fall from grace is about to happen for somebody. And it's going to be humiliating. Um, like I mean humiliating. Humiliating, excuse me. Okay. She doesn't want people balancing something out for you. I told you this man is walking away. I feel like you got another higher level soulmate that's coming towards you. Um, but whoever else, like there's there's a there's a man that is going through a divorce because I'm picking up on quite a diff a lot of different energies, and I don't want the like the one that's coming towards you to feel like you are not going to want to work with him or you're not going to wait on him, on him or something. I don't know what it is. It's that he's trying to fix things in his life and he's praying that you'll wait on him until all of the problems are taken care of because he doesn't want to come towards you with drama is why I'm saying that waiting on him. Um, any other day, I'm not going to tell you to wait on somebody and I don't, I'm not going to tell you to sit around waiting for somebody to go through, uh, a karmic cycle in order for you to start your life okay if somebody else comes in and they match your vibe they match your energy and you want to date them baby girl go ahead and do as you please do what makes you happy you deserve to be happy you should never be sitting around waiting for somebody um but there's a man going through some type of separation and he is hoping that uh that you will be available when he's done going through whatever separation this is whatever court case this is there's something like that because he's trying to put in the work to heal which is why we got this temperance to the aid of cups out here he's self actualizing now and walking away from the things that no longer serve him on the other hand you have a man that's being paid to come towards you to give you some type of offer it's like they're sending a man that they know you may have had a contract with and this is somebody very good looking he's supposed to come you know use his charm Sparkling white teeth or whatever, you know, I'm just saying white teeth because of the, you know, um, I see a lot of white and stuff. So that's why I'm saying that, uh, he may come in with his sparkling white teeth and he's like, Hey stranger, long time no see girl. How you been? Gonna, he's going to try to be relatable to you, but he's being sent by this woman. He's been working with this woman. Okay. The whole time. So just be cautious. You got a few different masculines in the background of you. Yeah, you need to be cautious of. Oh, this was sad. It don't matter. It came out sideways. I tend to typically put my cards up upright and I pause just to my wise. Okay. Um, dang. 
Yeah, she is trying to sabotage you from having victory. But she's not going to have a victory sabotaging you. It's like whatever she's plotting is a failure. It's why we have the Six of Wands. That like someone is very, like, she's plotting on coming into you. But why she's coming into you is very dark and insidious. It's like to take your power away. This is someone that comes, like, this is one of these people when you meet them, you will think that they're very charming, very nice, down to earth, uh, very friendly, okay, care about people. Maybe this woman don't got a caring bone in her body. So let's begin. It's all a facade. It's a facade. You're moving forward victoriously. Um, and whoever she's sending towards you, it's going to be a failure as well. At this point, she may end up losing her mind. It's like, I don't know if you all watch Divination, which I picked up on in one of my readings, that both sides are watching Divination. So it's that everything she's trying to do or have done to you, you, you're probably picking up on it because you're all watching divination and it's exposing quite a lot. So it may be something that's bothering her. She may get to a point where she thinks that people are telling you what it is she's intending or what she's plotting or what they're plotting. It's not that somebody's telling you. You're all watching divination. That's what that is. Okay, that's what it is. I don't, I, they may even be trying to go towards a king. Yeah, they're trying to keep a king of wands and a queen of cups from coming together. Like they're trying to keep these two stuck separately. They're hitting your finances as the woman. And they may even be trying to steal something from this king of wands or something like that. Uh, this, baby, this king of wands, there's something where this man is going through. It is a lesson. It's a lesson. He is, let somebody betray you horribly. It's what I'm picking up on. This is someone that used to be very wild. And he's learning a hard lesson. Going through some type of karma. Right? This is like getting a taste of your own medicine. Someone betrayed you heavily. I don't know. Somebody told him that you betrayed him or something. And he found out you didn't. Uh, somebody pretended to be an empress so that he could reject you. And he rejected you. And then started trying to destroy your life. There's some type, something he's going through too. The whole with the whole group. Like they're fighting this man, causing him problems, manipulating him just to keep him stuck or something like that. I don't know who this thing of wands is, but there's some type of hard lesson he had to learn. Ooh, he had to learn a hard lesson about the people around him, the people he partner up with. He may be leaving all of that out in the cold, standing his ground. And I'm not saying like he had to have learn a hard lesson that's like it's a bad thing or something there's something this man had to learn in order to be able to see life from a better view the more mature view yeah he's moving on both of you are going to be moving on with your lives and you got people out here trying to take reckless actions and things like that to stop this from taking place like they want to stop it from taking place it don't make no sense Yeah, you, it's like you two are taking your power back, maybe embarking on a new journey together, uh, taking charge of your life and things like that. It's like moving on with all of the hurts and the, this, you know, like when you go through a really hard experience and you got to find your strength to move on, no matter how hurt and things like that you are. It's like, that's what the Six of Wands is. Like you're taking all your power back. Yes, you're hurting and things like that. Yes, you're disappointed. You trusted people that you shouldn't have trusted or you thought you should have trusted. People that you trusted stole from you or tried to steal from you, try to take you out and things like that. Because I see that ten of want ten of our source out here. People try to take you out, try to take your money, cause you blockages, manipulate you, play mind games with you, and you go through all of that hurry, but you take the hurt with you and you still manage to move on, take your power back and master yourself. That's what that is. Okay? Dang. Someone's been dealing with a bunch of narcissists. Bunch of narcissists. Yeah, somebody mourning behind the scenes. Somebody is crying. 
the other day I was like sitting and I heard like somebody's crying. Like they're like it would you would I would have thought like they were next to me, but they weren't. Like somebody was crying. Somebody's crying a lot behind the scenes. It's like they're crying to loss of something or someone. And there's like somebody is crying behind the scenes. And I don't know who it is that's crying, but somebody is crying. Oh, listen, I look down and it's the five of Somebody is crying. I don't know what they're crying for. Either the loss of a person, a love of a loss of a relationship, the loss of finances, loss of some type of abundance they tried to steal. There's something where it's that either in a, also a woman, excuse me. She's very pissed off. She wasn't able to steal something from you. Something was returned to you. It's like a situation where someone has been pretending to be doing something. And let's say like there's something happens where you're not doing what you're doing because she's taking from you. And because you're not doing what you're doing anymore, she's not able to keep producing what it is that you've been producing, right? So it causes a problem for her. So let's say somebody has a sponsorship from a lot of different companies because they love what it is she does, but it's really you that do it. And you stop doing what it is you do. So now she's not able to produce more content, any more content for her sponsors to uh, use or to show to other, or whatever it is to sell or whatever. It's something like that. Like somebody can't copy your personality anymore. Someone has been invading your life to study your personality so they can pretend to be that. Just very eerie. This is like one of those like, when it happens, it's just like, oh my gosh, why would you even want to be somebody else? Like, something is very eerie, and I don't think somebody noticed. Like, like this woman that I'm picking up on, she doesn't know, like, how eerie, how disturbing uh, something is or how it comes across. And again, it comes down to the fact that society has a thing for allowing certain people to be a certain way, but those privileges are not allowed or permitted to other people. As in, this kind of person here who I picked up on is a, either a fair complexion or, or from the Aryan race, has been allowed privileges in life that a sister sister like myself could never dream of. And because it comes naturally to her, those privileges come naturally to her, she feels entitled to it. You ever seen how like, uh, let's say cops and things like that, you see how like Caucasians talk to cops, the, the, the cops come talk to them, they just, they, they give the, the cop a piece of their mind. We from this community, we, we all, we're like, huh? Where they, where they do that at? This is a thing? Right, because, yeah, that's how society has set it up. Or even, like, in companies. These kind of women, they can walk into companies, whether they got the degree, don't got the degree, nobody's really paying them no mind. They're going to get the position, right? Whether they have the skills, don't have the skills, they're going to get the position because, what, they are the right complexion. But then this will be the person, you know, they'll have people look into you to see if you have your degree for a lower position, than what she even has because she don't want you doing good in life. So she could be like the president of a company and you are what like a, a applying to be like, what, a, let's say like a dishwasher or something. I know you don't need a certificate or a, de a, a diploma to be a dishwasher, but we're just using this. I'm just trying to use that to uh, emphasize the metaphor that I'm trying to use, right? Um, she's the president, you're the dishwasher person there, okay? You come to work every day, you wash your dishes beautifully, you're happy washing your dishes, you don't care, you know, what's going on with anybody, you're just happy to be doing your job, it pays you money, you pay your bills, and you go on, take care of your family, you're happy in your little life, right? This kind of person, they're bothered, they want to know, hey, is Felicia qualified to be a dishwasher? We need to look into that. Whole time, uh, Ashley don't even got the credentials to be the president. Ashley may not even have the skills to be the president. She don't went and got some type of fictitious uh, degree. <laughs> you know how people were buying those nursing degrees in Florida, something like that. Um, but she's out here with the audacity to have people look into your background to prove that you don't qualify to be a dishwasher. Now, why are you focused on somebody being a dishwasher? That's what I want to know. It said little little Felicia comes to work every day and bothering nobody comes to work on time, gets her job done. Everybody likes working with her. But here you go, because everybody know you're a fraud, you got a problem with people liking Felicia. 
something like that. This woman does not like that people like you naturally. She does not like that people support you naturally. You don't got to pretend. Uh, even if you make mistakes, people will understand, hey, you're human, you're going to make mistakes. Because more than likely, that's the same energy you're giving to these people. As a Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups tend to be people who will overlook people's mistakes. It's not that they're not aware of it. These are just people that see things from a humane perspective. It's like, I, listen, I do the... I, I will probably do the same thing. You made that mistake, I will make that mistake. You forgot to write your name on this paper, maybe I'll do it probably three times a day. Something like that. But sh this kind of person, they're bothered about that energy. It's said, why is nobody angry that Felicia is not mad that somebody didn't write their name on the top of the paper? It's said, what are you talking about? Like, we're here to work. Whether, whether John wrote his name right now or later, it don't matter. John still wrote his name. The job got done. But this is someone with something to prove. You, see, you hear me? This is someone with something to prove. Um, so because they got something to prove that either you're not qualified for your position or you don't deserve that position because she's seen your color. That's all she sees. She sees your color, she sees your pers personality, your posit positivity, people like you, it bothers her. It said, why don't people like me naturally? When I leave the room, they don't have anything good to say about me. Why is everybody speaking positively of her? These are people when, they, when you come into a company and you give suggestions, they automatically think you're trying to take over the company. It said, what the heck, I, that, that's not how it works. Is that even how it works? Like, I just come in, give you a suggestion, and all of a sudden, I'm the new owner of the company? Is that how it works? These kind of people, that's how it is. Because they don't bring nothing to the table, they are intimidated by everything somebody else does or says. You better not be smarter than her, which I think most of the people around her are smarter than her, from what I picked up. Uh, she's in distress. You better not be better looking than her. It's a problem. You better not have more money than her. It's a problem. Someone's very superficial. Somebody is very superficial. Oh my God, she's superficial. Just very vain. Can't put two and two together. Like common sense. And I keep saying this because I think it's applicable to whoever this is I'm picking up on in a community. Common sense is not a flower that is found in every garden. And this woman don't got it in her garden. And I don't think the people around her notices that. Like they're following a lunatic around, taking orders from a lunatic. And I think there could be people, the fact that that word is coming out, I think there could people be people that call her just that. A lunatic, she's a lunatic. A lunatic. There may even be people afraid to speak their minds in this company because she has it set up to the point where it's that you say something, maybe it makes it to her five minutes later and she knows. Because this is somebody that is insecure. Oh my gosh. Somebody needs to know the 411 every, like every minute of the day. What is Lisa doing? What is Jasmine doing? What is Billy doing? What did, da, 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 da. What did you say they did? Oh, like how do you have time to do your work when you're more focused on focus on the drama is that somebody is still living in the high school days you know when we used to go to high school we spend most of our time talking and stuff like that the teacher will come in with the time for class we need you to pay attention and then we will all pay attention for a few minutes and go back to gossiping or just talking about silly stuff someone is still in that energy and it's just that oh my gosh why are you not bothered by why do you not see the problem like everybody else sees it why don't you see it why do you intend on causing hazard for people? Because I feel like there are people in this community, wherever this community is, they are so sick and tired. Like, you ever been sick and tired of being sick and tired? That is what it is for some of these people. They're just so sick and tired of being sick and tired. Like, somebody could spaz out on this woman at any time if she's not careful. Like, they could pass out at any time and give her, them, give her a piece of their mind. And it's going to be something that tears her. Like, she may find a soul that day. Somebody is fed up with this woman. And she don't, and it could be someone that's higher ranking than her. It's that somebody walks around and she feels good about herself because she has a really good position in the, because she's coming up as the queen of pentacles. So she has to have some type of good position in a, in a business. 
but she she's feeling uh you know all entitled and you know better than everybody else because she's either the president of the company the c c f o c o o any every whatever else o o vice president whoever but the chaos that she has put people in within this company is extremely crazy and it's just selfish and it's all to maintain some type of power she's never had people that are desperate to have power can never truly uh apprehend it if you want to have power you can never you're delusional when you even think you have it and that's how it always goes the people that want to have power they never can really manifest it the people that don't want to have power manifest it so somebody is delusional that she has power and authority over everybody else but it's all coming from a place of fear let one of those employees fix their mind to say i don't like how you do oh it's a problem it makes her feel insecure it feels like she's being criticized it's something like you know those monarchs from back in the day and somebody may she may see herself as a monarch which she's not monarchs like kings they don't like to be criticized they don't like to be told what to do you don't question their judgment you don't question their authority this is gonna how this woman moves except she does not know how to balance that energy she's more so on the brute side of things okay monarchs move the same way like the ones from back in the days back in the days uh like the european monarchs especially uh the monarchs from other continents tend to tended to be a little bit more balanced. They could still be barbaric, but the ones in Europe, baby, the history of them is horrendous. Especially ones like uh, Henry the Eighth. That was like he didn't start off as a brute, but towards the end of his life, baby, that man was a brute. You didn't question nothing he said. He, I think it said it is. Uh, it said that he had like over 350,000 people executed. Like that is how short tempered he became. Because when you get in that seat, the, 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 the thirst for power, it takes over you. And that's something this woman, like she's been consumed. Somebody he probably even received a position in a company at a lower level than what this is. And Maybe she put herself out to be very charming, very caring and nurturing, but she's always been soulless. Always been soulless. Always been stealing from people. May have even been stealing or has been stealing from this company and nobody knows it. Like somebody is just, it, it's sad and pathetic. It's depressing to see another human in this kind of energy that I picked up on. To the point to be so wicked and malicious to the point where you're ordering hits on other people because you want what belongs to them, you can't have what belongs to them. It's like I think there's like a decision that has been made for what belongs to you to be given to you for it to be released, and she's not happy with it. They like, no, I deserve this, I should have this. Why should you have it, Jane Doe? can't tell you a goddamn reason because it don't belong to her she didn't put no work into it don't even understand what it is that you do what the direction is of what it is you do let's say you sell products what was what, what what's your dreams for these products what are you going to add to the products are you going to create a whole set what are you going to like what are the ingredients what do, what uh, side effects do the ingredients have? What ingredients can go together? Which one do you need to be cautious of? Don't know none of that. But she just sees that your business is, it has the potential to be very abundant. So she wants it. Scales to accomplish or execute the future of the, don't got it. To develop the business, don't got it. To establish the business, don't, have, don't got it. All she feels is that she should have it because She's this complexion. This is why it's dangerous when society permit people to feel like one race is better than the other. It is never. On a spiritual level, when I tell you how irrelevant race is, but we make it such a big thing when we get down here. Race is so irrelevant. The reason we have race is just to have a, a human experience from that aspect of life. You're going, you get to be a uh, Caucasian in this lifetime. The next lifetime, you may be a, a person of color. You may be a Latina, Asian, or whatever. That's all it is for. So you can see life through their eyes. 
That's all it's for. For people like these, it's all about race. It's all about race. This person sees people of color as slaves. That's what she sees them as. They have their place. They shouldn't tuck back to people. They should know their place. Don't look her in the eye and things like that. And when you start criticizing or bringing things like that up, then she tries to change it up. She's going to start looking. Like somebody is very like crafty. She's going to start looking you in the eye now. She no longer has a problem with you looking her in the eye. She doesn't have a problem with you or uh, asking her questions. Doesn't have a problem with you asking for a raise and all of that. Like someone is very wicked. Like wicked is like an understatement. This kind of energy that I've been picking up for the past couple of days is it's a disgrace to the human race. To put it for a shirt, it's a disgrace to the human race. People should never be permitted to be like this. And the organization that this woman is in, you all have yourselves to blame. Because you allow this person to be like this. There's a queen of swords behind the scenes that's similar to her. And whoever you are, queen of cups, you could have worked with that queen of swords. They're very much the same. Except the queen of swords is more discreet <laughs> with what she's an elitist. She's discreet with what she does. This one here is out there with it. But there's something about you where she's been hiding or why she's really coming for you. It has to do with you being a sister, sister. Uh, but the queen of swords that I picked up on, she's about no different from this one. She just, she does hers from behind the scenes. So don't, no one will ever suspect that it's her. You work with both of these women. You work with both of them. This one is higher up in the company, and this one, I mean, sorry, not this one. The Queen of Swords that I picked up on is somebody you will have worked immediately, uh, I think either under, with, or whatever it is. You know, like how they have hospitals and stuff like that. Let's say you have, uh, this one could be like the, let's say like you have like the administrator of the uh, hospital or something. And this will be her. Then the Queen of Swords, let's say you work in a department that the Queen of Swords manages. Uh, you will be working under the Queen of Swords. It's something like that. But they're both the same. The Queen of Swords is just like a hidden figure when it comes to how she moves, how wicked she is, how uh, 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 like narcissistic and cold she is. There's another Queen of Swords I'm picking up on in this community. I don't think she's this way. This who like the one, the other one that I'm picking up on is someone that's like very direct, straightforward, doesn't beat around the bush, nothing. I don't know if she's involved in this stuff. Maybe she's the one that I picked up on that is in regret for some type of decision she may have made. But whoever that other one is, I don't get like a malicious intent from her. She's just very direct. But I think there was something where she was coerced. Some of who have been advocating for you with this Ace of Swords out here initially and there was some, some type of manipulation that was done where she thought that you did something or you said something that was up, out of line or that maybe they made her false promises or something like that. And I don't know why I'm picking up on these people in such details, but I feel like it's relevant that all of this is coming out. But there is a Queen of Pentacles reverse and a Queen of Swords reverse There are that have been working together this queen of pentacles has been paying people to block you the queen of swords has been paying people to do things to you as well and she could even be someone that's tech savvy and gets into the system and does things as well so you got your hands quite full uh i mean not technically because it's something where it's like your your guys have been protecting you because you see like here before they even take action your guys are here it's like they're here. They're letting you know that we're here. You see how it started with the Ace of Swords? It's like protection. We're protecting what's yours. We're protecting you. Nothing's going to happen to you. Like, you got too many divine intervention cards out here. Ace of Swords, Temperance, the Judgment, right? And then you got this Eight of Cups out here, the, the Magician. Even the Two of Wands, that's a... Inter that's a divine intervention because in this energy you got to be in the in, in this kind of energy you're in direct connection with source in order to be innovative in order to be original uh because that is something that's very uh essential to the soul that's one of the uh 
I think like 12 levels of ascensions or growth or something or awakening, being authentic, being original, okay, is one of the last levels. So you, this is a divine intervention kind of card as well. Uh, so this thing, this is too much. Anyways, I'm going to leave this here. I hope everything works out for you, divine being, things get balanced out for you, but there was some type of injustice. There was some type of injustice that was done to you. And I think it's all being exposed. Um, and hopefully things will be balanced out for you like it's supposed to. Um, but Lord, I don't know how like some of these divine beings make it through these. Because they say this is like a relentless kind of coming after somebody. To be fighting a ten of swords on someone, that's relentless. Like, she's trying to sabotage you in every way, shape, and form. Like, it's relentless. Just coming after someone repeatedly. You do one thing, it doesn't work. You do another thing, it doesn't work. You do another thing, it doesn't work. You do another thing, it doesn't work. I even see someone, it's like she's working with either like a masculine and he wants to stop doing something and she's telling him to keep going. Because somebody is a soulless, like, a soulless vessel. Like, she don't care. Don't care at all. So this is someone coming after you relentlessly. There's something about her ego being bruised. But it's like you bruise your own ego coming after this person. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.